Good morning. So I'm going to show you my gate installation. Welded up this, I think it's a two inch bar. Welded the support arm onto it. Welded this quarter inch steel around in the solar panel on. And then you see I put the solar panel on these old mounts. That way airflow can get underneath the solar panel and keep it cooler as well. And you notice it's a little oversized, and that was also done on purpose. Because if something should happen to the solar panel, they're not all the same size. I can accommodate something that's a little taller or a little wider. Um, anyway, it gives a nice clean look. I've got the solar panel wire in this metal conduit. I am painted it black. And it goes all the way up. Because we got critters, raccoons, possums, and stuff. They chew up wires. This is actually just here because it got pulled off. This isn't, doesn't belong here. Uh, anyway, so it's a pretty clean look. Um, yeah, so back there. Uh, I was having some problems with trucks because the keypad over there is wireless. And so I ran some little wire outside of the, the metal box because obviously metal kind of blocks radio and sig signals. Um, anyway, oh, welded up Unistrut. I still add there. Just some Unistrut and bolted it down. Bol bolted them blocks down to that. Little, little overkill, but I figure when you've got a big battery inside, it's gonna have a little weight, so I wanted something that's gonna support it and not just use a small screw couple of little screws I want some bolts and you can see here I've got the nice titanium oh what is it called a titanium TL 12 and I, I like it uh, it's been working great um, I also welded this bracket up uh, found a pipe clamps welded onto the support so I can put it on my gate without having to modify my gate and then I put a half inch trailer hitch pin to lock it. So that way if I need to bypass the gate, say it doesn't work, whatever, I can pull the lock right off. I can pull that lock off and bypass the gate easy enough. But some little looky-loo can't just pull a cotter pin and pull a little latch and get on in. And that's what I didn't want to happen. And didn't really want to modify the gate, so I have it fall just short of the stop. And so there's a little bit of play. Oops, can't see it. A little bit of play there, but I have it fall just short. So if I do bypass that, I can actually just lock the gate back up old school style. All right, I did enable a button. Uh, normally it's disabled, but for the sake of the video. All right, let's go and take a look at this, and it's pretty quick. The keypad as well. Oops. So, keypads, standard keypad that they offer, plastic box. Uh, welded up. My brother actually welded this up, and he did a really nice job. And encased it in steel. That's not going to help my wireless problems, but someone. Say someone accidentally hits it, this is just going to fold fold over onto the dirt and just fall over and not destroy the keypad. And then you just make another hole, stick it in the ground, up and running again. Um, solar panel here, oops, is more than big enough to recharge a rechargeable lithium 18650 cell inside. It's normally powered with a 9 volt battery. And I've got a little boost circuit in there and a charging circuit. So that way the solar panel keeps, runs through the charging circuit, keeps the battery charged. And the boost circuit bumps that, that lithium, which is like 3.7 volts, it bumps it up to 9 volts. And it works flawlessly. And it basically stays fully charged or almost fully charged. And even without the solar panel, 
The battery could last like six months or more on a single charge. Unbelievable. Uh, and the whole thing is just solid. Solid and clean looking. I mean, put some self-tapping screws in. Broke the screws off so they're not sticking out. I even put some black silicone around the solar panel. Mounted the solar panel on this side, even though it doesn't make sense. Um, I didn't want to mount it on top because of the being flat, it would collect all the dirt and dust and everything else. And with this side, it's facing north, which also doesn't make sense. But it's like a one and a quarter watt solar panel. And it's only recharging a battery that gets very little discharge. I mean, they did a fantastic job on keeping the power usage on these low. Like even with a normal nine volt battery, it's anywhere from like a month to six months expected um, battery life off of one battery. So really impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, anyway, so it's in fantastic. Got some clickers. And if you're uh, out on some, some rural property, I would uh, recommend it. I'd recommend just either putting it in yourself I'm going to key in real quick, but y'all can't see that. Um, recommend either putting one in yourself, a quality one, not some janky brand that's never been around, or having one put in. I mean, this, this pole is set in the ground like four or five feet, maybe? And about 500 pounds of concrete, it doesn't move. Um, and that's what I was worried about with all the torque and whatnot that it's pushing against the gate to open and close it. It's it's nice. I I wouldn't I can't recommend it enough. Um. Anyway. Super clean setup. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all get an idea. Talk to you later. Bye.